I was in 12th class and one day in the month of February I was sitting in my home all alone. My parents had gone for duty with a broken heart, with hopelessness, with fear and anxiety. I had failed in model exam in chemistry and maths. I had got 15 out of 100, 17 out of 100. My school principal had called me and my mother and said, your son is going to spoil the result of our school. Because in model exam, which is thought to be easy, he has failed. And only one month is there for the final CBSE board exam. He will spoil it. My mother was shocked. My parents were disturbed. They said, if you fail in 12th, your whole future will spoil. You won't get admission in any commerce, arts college also. They said, our honor is at stake. What our colleagues will say? My mother was the principal of a higher secondary, one of the reputed schools. What they will, my colleagues will say, you have to pass. You have to pass. I said, how can I pass? How can I pass? I have not read whole year the chemistry book, the maths book. I don't know the equations. I don't know the formulas. And you know how much thick the chemistry book was? This thick. Maths, this thick. And inside, not only thickness, various kinds of formulas, integration, differentiation, probability, chemistry, AL3, COOH, basic to balance the equation, I didn't know. Whole year I didn't read, read it properly because I was very weak in mathematics particularly. My parents used to tell me, you study up till 10th, after that you can take arts or commerce. I said, okay. With great difficulty, I passed 10th class. Then after passing, my parents said, no, no, no. See, maths is having value, importance. Arts, commerce is not having any value. So they compelled me to take maths. When I joined, teacher taught me trigonometries, equations, sine A, cos A, tan A, tan B. <coughs> said, next day I will ask. I said, what to do? She will be asking, girls, boys are there. And she will ask to write in the blackboard the formulas. I don't have read. I can't understand also. So thought came, why not I bunk my class? Where I will go? 12 to 5. The school timing are there. I thought, how to pass the time? I used to read the newspaper. There I saw some advertisement of the films in the cinema theaters. I thought, oh, the shows were given timing 12 to 3, like that. I thought, okay, that's a good idea. I will go in the cinema theater and I will. From that day, my habit started. And it began to grow in such an amount that in a week, only two days I will be attending the school. Three days I will be in, outside in the cinema theater. One film I have seen eight, nine times. You can imagine. Now this great struggle and challenge, you have to pass. How can I pass? I have not read this thick book. Who can help me? Can that hero whose film I used to see eight, nine times, can he help me? Can that heroine help me? No. No. Can my parents help me? Can my friends help me? Nobody can help me. Can money help me? Because I have to go alone in my exam hall. How I will face? Thoughts start coming. Why not? Your parents are forcing you have to pass. It's impossible to pass. Within one month the exam is there. You don't know even the trigonometry probability, simple equation, balancing of the chemistry equation, AL3COH. Thoughts started coming. Why not? Run away from home. Then thought came, what I will do? I will go to some village. I will join as a servant in some hotel and wash the dishes. Because there is no possibility of passing. As I was sitting, crying with a broken heart, 
with a contrite, with frustration, sitting with depression, weeping, there is no future for me. Suddenly, around 11 o'clock, there was a knock. Call bell, someone pressed, and there was a, uh, I saw postman was there. You know the postman in India, the posts are given by the postman. So a uh, postman was there and he brought one magazine. Brother uh, Benny, uh, can you please uh, show that student? That magazine he had brought, I just opened it. It was Jesus Calls magazine. Uh, the student picture, yeah. That in the front page of that Jesus Calls magazine was the picture of Jesus. Same picture. And under was written, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Proverbs chapter 1 verse 7. I was attracted. Hey, I used to go to church. I used to go to Sunday school. But nobody told me Jesus helps students. But that picture of Jesus blessing a student attracted me. Earlier, I didn't have any interest of reading spiritual magazine. I used to like reading comics of Phantom, of Superman and so on. But never spiritual magazine. Other spiritual magazine used to come. But Jesus called magazine, first time it was coming, we were not the subscriber. And the front picture of Jesus blessing a student attracted my heart. I started to read. Inside, there was message of Brother D.G.S. Tinakaran. In that, he had given his testimony. 1955, 11th February, he was going to the railway track to jump before the running express train. Because he had failed BSc twice. No hope, only son. His mother used to fit with, uh, suffer with terrible fits. His father was a poor teacher. He didn't get any employment. He was a failure. Twice he had failed. He was going to commit suicide. And while he was going, his uncle met and told about the love and sacrifice of Jesus on the cross. For one hour, how Jesus took all the sorrow, all the pain, all the sins, all the curses, all the suffering on the cross. He was slapped. He was spit upon. His beard was pulled for everyone in this world. His uncle said, you pray to Jesus. He will come in your heart. He will solve your problem. Brother DGS Dinakran asked his uncle, can Jesus help me to pass? Can he help me to get a job? Can he heal my mother? Every week she is suffering with fits. Can he remove my poverty? Can he prosper me? His uncle said, yes. Jesus loves everyone. He will do. Just go and pray to him. He's your father. He came home and for four hours he cried and confessed his sins. And after praying, Jesus, please come into my heart. Wash me with your blood. Forgive my sins. Make me your child. In Jesus' name, amen. He prayed and a marvelous peace filled his heart. Again, he started studying. And he used to place an empty chair beside him and invite Jesus, please sit beside me. I'm foolish. Twice I have failed. My father is a poor teacher. He can't arrange for me the tuitions. You please help me. He used to feel someone sitting and making him to read, making him to memorize. And one testimony he had given that deeply touched my heart. Physics practical was there. And only one day gap was there between the exam. He had 20 practicals. He couldn't study in a day 20 practicals, all, all, all the 20 practicals. So he prayed, Lord Jesus, your word says, you know the end from the beginning. Isaiah chapter 46 verse 10 says, that Jesus Christ knows the end from the beginning. John chapter 10 verse 27 says, my sheep hear my voice. So he prayed, Jesus, what shall I study? 20 practicals, I can't. You tell me, which practical will be coming? And he heard the sweet voice of Jesus. Son, prepare this transistor practical. He prepared that. Next day, he went for the uh, 
practical exam and you know the chit system is there closed chit inside it is written which practical diodes or transistor and teacher will keep it all the chits on their table and one by one she will call the student anyone can pick anyone any chit inside it will be written what's the practical so when brother dinakaran was uh, called he prayed and asked jesus which chit should i pick up jesus told him this one and he just opened and he was shocked to see the same transistor practical <laughs> hallelujah hallelujah when i read my hopeless helpless heart got a hope hallelujah jesus can help me jesus will help me immediately i went on my knees and i cried jesus i am a sinner come into my heart wash me with your blood make me your child lord forgive my sins i search for peace and happiness in the movies in the world in the friends but i didn't get please come into my heart please come into my heart in jesus name amen as i prayed all my nervousness all my fear anxiety just went away i was filled with great joy great hope great peace that jesus is going to help me then i wrote a letter prayer request letter to brother dinakaran in uh, prayer tower chennai he sent me a student prayer letter i started reading every morning only 15 20 days were left for the cbse board exam and i used to study like that impossible to pass impossible to prepare please help me jesus you sit beside me and then my exam started first was the english exam by god grace it was okay next was the physics exam physics exam morning i woke 6 o'clock and by 7 o'clock after uh, all my bath and everything i started studying suddenly while i was revising i found columns law chapter is left by mistake i left it to study and 9:30 was the exam starting so i have to leave by 8:30 only from 7 to uh, 8:30 only i have one and a half hours and i have to complete all the lessons plus that left over that columns law i was frightened why columns law that's a very important chapter around 20 25 number out of 100 the marks question will come from the columns law and that i started reading it i couldn't complete f equals to q1 q2 upon 4 pi epsilon r square all these derivations long long different different derivations long der derivations were there i couldn't read it so i started turning my page which shall i i can't complete in one and a half hour all the lessons all the theorems please what shall i study I remembered Jesus said in Psalms 50 verse 15 call to me in the day of trouble I will deliver you and you shall glorify me I started calling my heart started beating very fast I became afraid Lord 20 25 number questions will come from this chapter and it is totally left I can't revise properly please as I was calling I was turning my pages very very fearfully with panic as i was turning i saw one white light falling on one of the question and i heard the sweet voice of jesus son right thank you jesus going to come in board exam first experience i wrote thank you jesus going to come in the exam board exam again i was turning pages which question shall i study because i can't complete all in that limited time another question i saw another white light falling on that and i heard the sweet voice of jesus right here thank you jesus going to come in the board exam i wrote then again i studied that again i was turning which another question same white light sweet voice of jesus right thank you jesus going to come fear was gone i went prayerfully lord jesus you have created the whole world please write sit beside me and hold my hands and write for me in the exam hall when the question paper was distributed i opened the same three questions 
that Jesus had told. Same had come. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Wonderful Jesus. Mighty Jesus. He is a living God. My dear children, my dear students. Are you feeling fearful? Are you feeling lonely? Jesus Christ is not a story. Jesus Christ is not a history. He is a living God. He wants to talk with you. Hallelujah. He wants to speak with you. Hallelujah. I was surprised. I told my friends, hey, see, my notes, Jesus Christ told me, going to come. They were surprised to see us. Same three question came. Next question. Uh, next uh, subject was chemistry. Chemistry, I was very weak. The exam went very bad. I came with a broken heart. Why didn't you help me, Lord Jesus? I will fail. It has gone very bad. Bible says the Lord is very close to the brokenhearted. Psalms 34 verse 18. Brother, sister, whenever you are in broken heart due to family problems, due to job problems, due to financial problems, due to your children's problems, remember, He is very, very close to you. And Jesus Christ came to heal the broken heart. My heart was broken. Why didn't you help me, Lord? I will fail. And I had made a habit every morning after waking and before sleeping, I will be reading the word of God. Hallelujah. The living, powerful, everlasting word of God. And that night I was reading. I was feeling so tensed. No peace. My exam had gone bad. Why didn't Jesus help me? Crying, weeping. I was not knowing much Bible. I had just accepted Jesus that time. I just opened the Bible. And it opened in a very wonderful verse. Proverbs chapter 21 verse 1. The king's heart is in the hand of the Lord. As the rivers of water he can turn. With sower he will. When I read, hey, Jesus began speaking, son, what is written? King's heart. That means the valuer who is sitting in the CBSC Delhi, one who will be correcting your answer sheet. His heart is in my hands. As the rivers of water, I can grant you favor. Psalms 5 verse 12 says, Favor surrounds the righteous. Hallelujah. My children, my brother, my sister, you are surrounded by the favor of the Lord. I was encouraged. Then I read Mark chapter 10 verse 27. With men it is impossible, but nothing, nothing is impossible. With mighty, glorious, wonderful Jesus. Hallelujah. Hebrews chapter 13 verse 8. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today and forever. He healed the leper. He healed the blind. His power and his love is unchanging. I was filled with so much peace. The word of God is sweeter than honey. Hallelujah. Read it my brother. Read it my children. Sister, read it. When you are in sorrow, when you are in or tension when you are in fear read the word of God it will strengthen you it's a living powerful word of God hallelujah it's our daily manna I was encouraged hallelujah I was hopeful I slept peacefully like a baby thank you Jesus you are going to take care hallelujah when the results of the exam came my parents went I was sitting in the car I opened my I used to keep in my pocket Gideon small New Testament. I opened. It opened in Psalms 105. I prayed, Lord Jesus, I have trusted in you. Let me not be ashamed, Lord. Let, uh, I have done for failures. I will fail 100%. But you can perform a miracle. Psalms 105, verse 1. Oh, give thanks to the Lord. Call upon his name. Make known his deeds among the people. The word of God is saying, Call upon his name. Call upon the name of Jesus. Make known his wonderful works, miracles among the people. I started calling Jesus. I have trusted in you. Let me not be ashamed. When I saw my parents coming, they were pointing. When I saw this, I was surprised. First tuition, when they came inside the car, I asked how much? 71%. 
Hallelujah! Glorious Jesus, wonderful Jesus, mighty Jesus. He will do miracles for you. He will do miracles for you. My brother, my sister, you are not alone. The mighty Jesus is with you, my children. Jason, hallelujah. Sarah, hallelujah. Yes, hallelujah. The Lord is with you. Joseph, the Lord will help you. Don't worry, you are a precious, precious in the eyes of Jesus, hallelujah. He's your father. He loves you deeply and dearly. He will strengthen you in your weakness, hallelujah. When you feel that you are weak, his strength will be manifested in a powerful way. Joseph, don't fear. Hallelujah. His strength will be manifested. Joshua, you might be having so many fears and worries. Worldly friends will deceive you, will leave you, forsake you. But there is a true friend. His name is Jesus. He loves you. He will help you. Hallelujah. The prayers that are going for you, hallelujah, will not go in vain. You are never alone. Jesus will help you. Just ask him. He will give you the memory power. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And the chemistry paper which had gone very bad. You do know how much marks Jesus granted me? 84 out of 100. The king's heart is in the hand of the Lord. As a rivers of water, he can turn with sober he will. His word is true. Hallelujah. Heaven and earth will pass away, but his word will never pass away. Glory. Thank you, Jesus. I was surprised. Same Jesus loves you. He can grant these experiences to you. Amen. Brother Dinakaran, in his book, in inside to heaven here shared this very wonderful testimony I had not experienced but I would like to share with you so that you can be encouraged he went for an exam and uh, the, those questions were very very hard he couldn't uh, write any answer for that and he was praying Lord what shall I do suddenly he felt a heavy hand he was not knowing the answers he felt a heavy hand that the hand of Jesus upon his head and his heart hand started to move and the whole question paper the hand of Jesus was holding his hand and he was writing he was not knowing the answers wonderful Jesus is wonderful he will do miracles another experience I had while I was doing MBA one subject was there MIS management information system there was a lot of theorems formulas a cube plus b cube plus div uh, divided by c cube minus plus very confusing. I didn't read whole year properly. And during the exam, I had to read with a heavy heart. Morning, I woke up and I was reading Bible. Lord, today the uh, MIS paper exam is there and I'm not prepared. It's a very hard exam. How I will face? I was reading in the Bible after waking up. It read in Proverbs chapter 10, verse 7. Beautiful word. The memory of the righteous is blessed. The memory of God's children is blessed. Jesus started to speaking to me that what is written, the memory power. Students, brothers, sisters, so many times it happens. We memorize, but in the ex during the exam hall, we forget it. But there is that verse, that the success, hallelujah, the memory of the righteous is blessed, hallelujah. And I confess that and I started reading. First time I'm reading all the, like that, evening my exam was there. And an exam hall, by God's grace, whatever I had studied, it came. And uh, I started to forget in that. It was A cube plus or minus B cube or C cube, like that. A square or it was A cube. Started confusion. Started forgetting. I confess that word. The memory of God's children is blessed. Lord Jesus, grant me memory. I started calling the name of Jesus. And in the exam hall, the Lord Jesus started to make me uh, uh, remember all those correct formulas. And I gave my exam. I passed. Hallelujah. The one who didn't know, even I don't know now, the balancing of the equation. He had granted me engineering degree. Electronic 66%. Marketing in dual specialization. Marketing and finance with 66%. CDAC with a second topper. I was in uh, that computer course, Java, C++. And then PhD and so many degrees. Jesus granted me. He loves you. Are you feeling weak? He loves you. And the greatest miracle is 
we were not the subscriber of Jesus called Maxi. You know, in our street, we three uh, Christian families were living. And beside our fourth street before, like this is the street, fourth street bef uh, behind us, there was a doctor family. And recently they had shifted their home to another sector. So the postman brought that Jesus calls magazine of there to my home to save me. Hallelujah. Amen. Proverbs chapter 16 verse 33 says, The Lord is cast into the lap, but whole disposing is of the Lord. Hindi mein likha hua hai, chitthi dali to jati, parantu uska nikalna yehwa ki or se hota hai. Hallelujah. Yes, yes, yes. How miraculous. The first time I'm getting Jesus Call magazine. And thanks to brother DGS Dhinakaran. He put the picture of Jesus in the front cover, in the front page of Jesus, Jesus Call magazine. If he had not put, I would never have read that magazine. Because other spiritual magazine, I, we used to get, but I never used to read. But the picture of Jesus granted me. I was saved, attracted to read. That's why if you are connected to me, through WhatsApp, through Facebook or email, I always put the picture of Jesus. Brother Dinakaran also used to put the pictures of Jesus. Can you imagine? The one I was running from my home, becoming a, thinking to become a servant, what I would have become, I would have committed suicide. But Jesus saved me. Hallelujah. He will save you. He will save you, children, students. You are never alone. Hallelujah. Jesus is real. He will help you. Shall we stand? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Lord Jesus, I pray for every student, every children that are sitting, Lord. Anoint them, Lord. Let fear, let anxiety, let, uh, oh, Father, unknown discouragement, Lord, depression depart, Lord. Sit beside them. Teach them as a good teacher. You are the best teacher, Lord Jesus. Grant them wisdom, knowledge, and memory power, Lord Jesus. And their parents, Lord, let them have the confidence that Jesus is going to help them. Jesus is going to help their children, Lord. Bless them, Lord. I pray, Lord Jesus. Embrace them. Kiss them, Lord. And bless them. Hallelujah. In Jesus, helping. Highest name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah.